Hi, it's Michael. It is possible to exercise with the body or against the body. The amount of energy, of life energy, each of us has available is finite. And uh, we need to be cautious with how we allocate it to our life, so to speak. So in a quite a simplified way, let's say that there is uh, the energy for physical activities and then there is energy for healing, for spiritual activities and so on. If we put too much energy into the physical activities, then there may not be enough for the body maintenance, healing and spiritual activities and then uh, that definitely leads to health trouble. So imagine the water in this bottle, it's a limited amount of water and it represents the your life energy, whatever you have assigned available to you. And uh, this is for the spiritual and healing activities and this is for the physical activities. So if you put too much uh, too much water in the physical activities uh, cup then in your health and uh, the spiritual activities there is not much left. And when this happens, then diseases can occur or you can become susceptible to accidents, to negative energies. And when it comes to diseases, possibly even cancer, uh, when the energy gets out of control. So this has pretty big impact. So the key to exercising is in a moderate way. However, what is moderate? obviously to every person this is going to be different the body for it to be healthy needs to move on a rather frequent and regular basis at the same time it does not need to go into prolonged strenuous exercises the body doesn't need to run 5k or 10k let alone a marathon or half marathon in order to be healthy. The body doesn't need to cycle 100 kilometers or 60 miles or whatever in order to be healthy. Health and fitness are not the same thing. One can be fit and not be healthy and one can be healthy and not be so fit. Some fitness is uh, the basis for good health but it doesn't have to be anything extraordinary and if you have noticed on the internet there is an article it's an old article now about um, indigenous people on an island called uh, Kitawa and uh, they are apparently uh, one of the healthiest people uh, on the planet uh, at least when it comes to their physical health yet they don't exercise much they move they move around but they don't exercise too much they have very healthy diet they move um, and uh, they are free of many diseases that the western world is plagued with so how to tell what a moderate amount of exercise would be for you the most reliable way is to find a doctor that uh, uses muscle strength testing and asking uh, your body what it, what it is willing to handle uh, harmoniously congruently or if uh, and uh, neuroemotional technique doctors NET neuroemotional technique doctors they perform uh, this technique and uh, 
they can be found on the website netmindbody.com netmindbody.com and there is a practitioner finder link on top uh, on the main page or if that's not possible then finding a good chiropractor asking him or her to assess your spine your body and discuss with uh, the chiropractor what an appropriate amount of exercise would be for you if that is not available which would be hard to believe chiropractors now are almost everywhere at least in north america then the next kind of general pointers would be this if you drink coffee if you intake a lot of sugar fructose if you smoke if you take drugs if you drink alcohol even in small amounts then it is recommended that you forget about strenuous exercises like walking long distances cycling long distances running forget about that and the reason is that your body is burdened with all the unhealthy effects of those things and uh, it needs a lot of energy to trying to keep as healthy as possible under the given circumstances and if you sap the energy away through strenuous exercise well then um, diseases or some very unpleasant uh, things can occur also on this channel and in this playlist and I'll put uh, the link to it below the video a video about six health tests you can do at home to kind of gener generally assess the state of your health so that can be used as well now just a few closing comments the healthiest exercise is of course walking and the body is perfectly happy to walk for example two kilometers in the morning two kilometers in uh, during uh, the lunch break at noon and two kilometers uh, in the afternoon or evening two kilometers is slightly over one mile it's perfectly happy with that of course moving in between is a must is important uh, we should not be sitting in a chair for pro prolonged periods of time we should keep on moving but as a continuous exercise walking probably generally speaking around four kilometers a day to maybe eight kilometers a day for the healthier people is completely sufficient running is fairly hard on the body on the joints especially for overweight people so that's just general pointers so again the mind uh, usually swings from extreme to extreme so either not exercising enough or exercising too much and uh, the your conscious feeling about the level of your exercise may not be reliable enough because the ego can easily the mind can easily override the inputs coming from the body the body may be unhappy with the amount of exercise yet the mind is interpreting it as great i accomplished something and this is so evident in this world people running half marathons marathons walking long distances and they feel accomplished they feel energized and yet their bodies cry uh, scream uh, for energy for help okay so it's important to exercise with the body not against the body so if there are any questions or comments they can be left below the video 
and I wish you a healthy, happy and joyful life. My clothes.